Welcome back to Foundations. How's everybody doing today? Awesome. Well, enough of that song. It's good to see you. Let's get started by reviewing all of our vowel sounds. You can say these right along with me or repeat after me. Here we go. A apple a. A safe a. A acorn a. A wash a. A squash a. A Alaska a. Ooh. Here we go with e. E ed a. E p e. E me e. Great. Let's try i. I itch i. I pine i. I high i. I animal i. I animal a. E I champion e. Oh. O octopus a. O home o. O no o. You up uh, ah, uh, you mule you, you rule oo, you pupil oo, you flu oo. Why cry I, why baby E? I want you to think about which ones are tricky for you. And I'm going to just hold it up and I want you to really just look at the ones that are hard and practice them right now yourself at home. For me, it's the wash, squash. Wa ah and squash. Those are the schwa sounds. Okay, nice job practicing what's hard. Yesterday we talked about prefixes. They come before a base word and they can change the meaning of a word. Let's review. Read these out loud to me. Non. Un. Trans. Miss X N Dis and Pre. This was the one that we learned yesterday. Who remembers what dis means? Opposite of or not. That is correct. Now, if you have your student notebook, on page 42, you can find common prefixes. This is an important resource. I apologize. Some of you learners don't have these yet. They're coming in. Some things are a little bit behind on their orders, but you will have this resource. So on that prefix page, it shows you all of the prefixes and what they mean. They're organized by being closed syllable prefixes and open syllable prefixes. Okay, this is a syllable frame and this is a one syllable word. What does it say, everyone? Stuck. What does stuck mean? Yeah, it means you're in something and you can't get out of it. Like he was stuck in mud. Or if you're a baseball or softball player, he was stuck or she was stuck in a batting slump. So what if I put a prefix in front of the word stuck? I'm going to put the prefix un. Unstuck is our new word. And when we use the prefix frames, it looks like there's a space here but I just want to be clear that it is one word. We use these syllable frames so that you can understand it's two syllables, but one word, unstuck. So if you look in your notebook, if you have it, we can find what un means. If you don't have it, it's okay. It means the same as dis. Dis and un are synonyms. So un means not or opposite of. So this would be not stuck or the opposite of stuck. Now, can you use unstuck in a sentence? What's that, Baby Echo? You want to try? Okay. He unstuck the sticker from the page and put it on his shirt. Thank you, Echo. Let me hear you come up with a few sentences with unstuck. I'm listening. Let's try a few more words. Im perfect. What would im perfect mean? Not perfect. I'll admit it, I am imperfect. You'll see me make lots of mistakes together. Okay, let me erase it. See if you can read this word. Here's our prefix, 
And here is our base word. And remember, it's really just one word, prefix, base word. What does it say? Incomplete. What does it mean? Not complete. If you're not sure, you can always look back. In means not. Okay, great. Let's try another one. Prefix, myth, base word, in, wait a second, information does not fit on one syllable. Silly me, I'm going to just write it on the board because information is how many syllables? Information. Four syllables, and I tried to put the whole thing on one syllable. I think I even did that with the last word, with um, perfect, right? I put it on one. How many syllables are in perfect? Perfect, two. How many syllables are in complete? Complete, two. I should have been putting it on two frames. See, I sure am imperfect. Okay, so back to misinformation. Anyone already know what myth means? Like wrong or bad? So if it's misinformation, it's not good. Not good information. Can you give me a sentence with misinformation? Thank you. And let's try another one. Non-productive. Non-productive. I hope you aren't being non-productive at home today. Productive means that you're getting work done, and if you're non-productive, you're not getting anything done. Let me hear your sentence with non-productive. Okay, there are two more prefixes that we are going to look at today. Trans, can you find it in your book? Across or beyond. So if we have trans, Continental. Try this big word. Transcontinental. That means it's going across continents, so not just staying in North America. And our last prefix that we're going to look at right now, unsafe. That's right, unsafe. Un means not. Let me hear your sentence with unsafe. Okay, it's time for some dictation. Get out your whiteboards, get out your markers, and we're going to write some prefixes. Okay, the first one that we are going to practice writing is X. This one can be tricky because if you try to tap it out, it sounds like it's just one letter, X. But if you listen to the sounds, X, there's two. A, what letter is that? E, and then X we know is the X sound. Okay. Try this next one. Repeat after me. N. Let's tap it. Eh. Mm. Write it. Check it. N. And these are all considered closed syllable prefixes that we're doing today. Non. Tap it. N uh n. Write it. Check it. Un. Uh n. Write it. Check it. Miss. N i. Miss. Notice, since it's a prefix, it is just one S. This is not miss like Miss Holbrook. It is the prefix miss. And last one, dis. Check it. Okay. Let's try writing a whole word that's going to have a prefix and a base word. Repeat after me. Miss step. Go ahead, write it on your whiteboard. Okay, wait, maybe before you write it, I wanna know, do you think it has a prefix in it? 
misstep. Because knowing the prefixes is going to help you with the meaning of the word and the spelling of the word. So that's right, there is a prefix, miss. And do you remember how to write it? Miss. Mm, and remember, there's no bonus letter. That's only at the end of words. So here's our prefix, miss. And then what's the other part? Miss step. At miss step. So on your boards at home, when, when you're practicing um, words that have prefixes or more than one syllable, these are your syllable boxes to write in. And then we bring the word together down here. So this was our practice. And then to write the whole word, I need to pull it back together. Okay, now we're going to practice marking this two-syllable word. We have to scoop the syllables. Miss step. Now it has two S's because one is part of the prefix and one is part of the base word. Okay, let's try some more words. I want you to repeat it. Listen to see if it has a prefix and look in your student notebook page if you need to. That's going to help you remember if it's a prefix or not and help you with the spelling. Okay, here's your first one. Repeat after me. Entrap. Hmm, is there a prefix? Entrap. So there's that prefix, N. Here's the base word trap. And then we can come down to the lines and put it all together. Let's scoop the syllables. N trap. Okay, I would suggest that you erase. Oh, where'd my eraser go? It's hiding on me. Echo, what did you do with my eraser? Does anybody see my eraser? Hmm. Well, good thing we always have a finger. All right, let's erase it and get ready for the next one. You don't have to erase this word here. Repeat after me. Im. Polite. Impolite. Im. Is that a prefix? Check in your notebook. Im. Po. Light. Light. I think the E makes it say I. And then we can put it all together down below. And then let's scoop the syllables. Im, po, light. Okay, here's your next one. Disrespect. Pace out your syllables. Put it together. Dis, re, spect. And then check it with mine. Dis, re, Respect. Very nice job. Let's try one more. Non slip. Non slip. Scoop it. Check it with mine. What do you think non slip means? Yeah, not slippery. Can I hear you use it in a sentence? Great. Let's look over the meaning of a few other words. Entrap. Hmm. Impolite. Can I hear you use those words in a sentence? Okay, good work, my friends. I want you to be on the lookout for prefixes in your reading and in your speaking because they'll help you. They're kind of like a clue into the word's meaning and how to spell it. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.